Okay, this is on the Schwamm job, number 54371. Um, install, and it'll be installed by Jason. So what we're doing is we are uh, replacing this furnace downstairs and replacing the AC with the heat pump and a couple miscellaneous things. <clears throat> So, um, the new furnace will sit on a base and the left side will be flat with the duct up here. I have, your cut line is right here. Um, so I made the starting collar, just a start collar, the front duct. So this side's going to be flat. And then I made you a, uh, a starting color just a, a triangle um, so you know your cut lines at the duct in the front this duct is just like a teeny bit higher so you may have to modify your transition a little bit well I guess you're cutting all that out for the starting color but you know you have to modify it a little bit anyway for the duct <clears throat> Um, while I'm here, you're going to add turning veins in this 90 right here and then give you a 16 by 16 patch. That's that and add veins and a patch. Okay. Anyway, uh, return air, not a five inch filter box. Um, you drop and um, so he has us ripping out this return air duct all the way over to my cut line right here. Um, he wanted it past this panning. Um, and he wants to increase the duct from 8 by 24 to 10 by 25. So to do that, you know, you can see our gas lines in the way um, and everything's super tight. But that's that. Um, so, I mean, well, I'll make that change later. Um, but this is the side view of the of the trunk line on the top. <clears throat> um, keep in mind, so right now this duct is, is 24 inches and we're putting 25 inch duct there. So you have just one inch to your gas line. So this, you're gonna have to smash this duct in remove the strap on the gas line and redo that, you know, and I would even pull the gas line over if you could with the strap a little bit, you know, if you need to, um, but it's gonna be tight. Um, also, that drain right there, while I'm here looking at it, um, you know, we're gonna have to redo that drain because it's going right where our return air duct is. <clears throat> So anyway, um, let's go to the next paper. Okay, combustion air is okay right here. Um, our vent, we're only gonna tie a single pipe furnace into the vent. We're gonna reuse this three inch PVC. Um, but I believe we're going to have to probably cut it back here and redo it to make room for our um, our gas and stuff because our gas is going to change. Um, so I gave you um, stuff to redo that. So in the gas... <coughs> You're going to break it apart. So 
So you're going to remove this drop, but reuse the whole thing. You can see it has flex lines connected to it. So you're going to have to undo the flex lines and reconnect them after. But we're making this duct two inches deeper. So we're going to replace this six inch nipple here with a nine inch nipple, inch and a quarter by nine. And then this 90 here, we're gonna make go this way um, and add an eight inch piece, I think. So I should run it down on this coil. 90, eight inch piece and then a 90 and then uh, another eight inch piece to come this way because our return air drop is wider so this needs to scoot over more and then we use this drop coming down right next to the return air drop here reuse all the duct or reuse the drop and all the flex and stuff to there then from this cock to the furnace So from that cock, you're just going to have a flex, then your 16 into the furnace, like that. Drain just to the floor. Um, I wrote, redo the drain, the top floor drain to make room for the duct. So I give you, giving you extra fittings and stuff. Also for the humidifier drain too. So, um, yeah, um, stat, you're going to put on the S40 thermostat, the humidifier, we're just going to relocate this humidifier to the return, and that's why I had to move the gas line over, so you, that would fit. Um, let's see, where was I? Um, reuse the six inch pipe for the humidifier. Um, so the return air, I wrote number eight on scope, so you know what ones they are, but anyway, um, so this six inch here, we're Basically just going to remove this and replace it with a 10 inch round. Um, on the scope, he has just to split the truss with the 10 inch round. So I guess that's what we'll do. On the other side, we're going to replace this uh, 24 inch grill with a 30 by 6 baseboard grill. Okay, so I'll make you, on that, I'll give you two rounds and then a 90. And then um, number 10 on scope is the other return air. So right now this six inch pipe just goes through into the wall, but dead ends. So we're gonna take this off. Um, and just patch this hole. <clears throat> um, and then over here, I wrote 10 inch round there in the panning. It's kind of hard to understand his, his thinking during the pipe at an angle, but I gave you two 90s just if you need to offset over and then I would go straight down. That's what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, you can't be thinking about that one. He said come down next to the panel, so it has to be this one. 
<clears throat> I don't know why you can't go in that one though. Anyway, go in one of them. I would personally go in that one, but he specified to go in this one. Um, I believe, unless I'm mistaken. Anyway, 10 inch round under the stairs to this box. He wanted the uh, 10 inch round cut into the left side of the box, not center. Sorry, I reversed that to the right side. The box needs to go this way. So I'll redraw that to the right side. No, I'm right. I'm right to the left side, yeah. So the, get the pipe all the way back. Okay. And then uh, we're going to put on the other side of the wall a... Uh, I'll give you a header for that. What are we going to do? We're going to put a 20 by 10... Sorry, 30 by 10 baseboard drill. In the family room here. Um, and you can see under the stairs here. But, okay. <clears throat> did I skip the AC? I did skip the AC. Okay, AC. Flush the lines. Um, I'm not going to walk out there because it's pretty generic out there. New big pad. Replace rib text as needed. Um, so I'll order you some rib text. Reuse the disconnect, but add a 30 amp breaker in the QL breaker in the disconnect. The existing um, breaker on the panel right here is a 40 amp. Our max breaker is a 30 amp. Okay, that's it.